Casey Neistat made the most important point about the Apple Vision Pro, and it isn't even about the current generation headset. This is the, I think this is the future interface for all computing. Maybe they look like these glasses or something even smaller, that that is what it'll be. Let's talk about that real quick, because we genuinely think that in the near future, it'll be the norm to walk around with mixed reality sunglasses. Now, we've come a long way since the trailer for Google Glass, so let's look into why glasses like these are finally close to hitting the shelves. The most impactful Vision Pro videos going viral right now are the ones where users are taking it to the streets, showing how effective these can be as a personal assistant to everyday life. You have Casey watching a Mr. Beast video while waiting for his train, or this TikToker using the Vision Pro to have his group's coffee order shown as a notepad next to the barista, interacting with both seamlessly. People are eager to get their hands on this kind of technology that can enhance their everyday lives, but that also is easy to use and looks nice. And that's why people aren't lining out the door for the current Vision Pro. They start at $3,500, and they're... Heavy $4,000 metal ski goggles. The everyday person isn't going to drop that kind of money to look like this in public. And we think Apple knows this. The first generation Vision Pro seems to be a proof of concept, especially with the rumors that Apple are, in fact, working on a pair of smart glasses. So the perfect pair of smart glasses is not that far out of reach. Maybe it'll be Vision Pro 2. Maybe it'll be another company. There's already a handful of really nice smart glasses that have been out on the market that are great in their individual right. Meta has their collaboration with Ray-Ban, where they succeeded in the sleek style and social functionality, where you can film videos and take pictures from the glasses, listen to music, and take calls. Bose has perfected the audio quality with their frames. And there's also the Virtue One smart glasses for mixed reality gaming and entertainment. All of these options are cheaper and look nicer in a public setting compared to the Vision Pro. So we imagine a future iteration of a sleeker Vision Pro, maybe one that looks like this and can connect to your Apple Watch as a form of remote, for example. We know Meta is working on something similar with their EMG wristband that registers electrical signals in your wrist that Zuckerberg says will eventually let you control your glasses and other devices. So Meta might have some crazy iteration of the next Ray-Ban Meta glasses. Now, the company who wins this race will be the one who can seamlessly integrate all of these features into one pair of smart glasses. Something that looks nice and is available in a variety of styles, has good audio for music and mixed reality FaceTime, and allows you to easily work with different apps for navigation, note-taking, live language translation, and so much more to assist with everyday life. One of the top comments on Casey's review was, I am deaf. I would love something like this to actively make captions for everyone around me so I can tell what people are saying. There's a lot of different advantages that can come with this. Now, of course, this level of technology will have some concerns behind it. People were understandably nervous about being filmed without knowledge or consent when the Ray-Ban Meta glasses were released. So maybe the perfect pair of smart glasses don't have cameras on them. And our general concern for mixed reality, especially in public, are the dangers of distraction. Will the technology be smart enough to stop people from driving with these? Now, the Vision Pro does tab out of any mixed reality frames when there's high movement, so the tech should already be there for safety. But what do you think? Are smart glasses the future of computing? Do you think everyone's going to be walking around the streets FaceTiming their friends on their glasses soon? Comment your thoughts and let us know.